Whenever chaos ensues, you can always entrust these characters to enforce and uphold the law. Most of the time. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 video game cops. 184 copy, code 3, ETA 3 minutes. Copy 184. For this list, we won't be including typical detectives and investigators, since we already have a list for those gumshoes. Saw what happened? <laughs> I warned him about that cannon under the counter. He took a shot at a couple of stick-up men. Number 10, Sybil Bennett, Silent Hill. Sybil Bennett. I'm a police officer from Brams, the next town over. We're almost sure that this unsuspecting officer didn't sign up for this at orientation. Having the displeasure of rolling into this abandoned city, Bennett was a comforting presence to the bewildered Harry Mason. How do you feel? Oh, like I've been run over by a truck. She ends up doing her very best to save all of the remaining citizens from the hellish creatures that hide out in the mist, and provides our protagonist with his first means of defense. Take this, and hope you don't have to use it. Number 9, John Tanner, Driver Series. Undercover police officers are regularly those who possess a strong sense of justice, but still keep an ear to the streets. Ex-race driver John Tanner just so happens to carry a certain set of skills that make him the perfect candidate for this case. Through working as the man behind the wheel, Tanner earns the trust of various crime families and gangs, while also building his notoriety. Though he's constantly teetering on the line between cop and criminal, Tanner has never failed to get his man. Number 8, The Agent, Crackdown. Order in Pacific City is maintained by genetically enhanced super cops known only as agents. Super fast, super strong, well equipped, and always improving, the agent's job is to rid the city of its three notorious gangs, member by member from the ground up. Agency intel suggests that you weaken each kingpin's defenses by locating and removing their generals first. As fun as it is to be a one-man army waging urban warfare from the rooftops, most agents spend a lot of their time just collecting orbs. Number 7, Carmelita Fox, Sly Cooper series. Mm, I should have tied his mangy tail around his neck. I should have blasted that smug look right off his face. Catching the Cooper gang member Sly is a job in and of itself. However, catching feelings for this elusive thief wasn't something this Interpol officer could have anticipated. Are you in law enforcement? I often deal with police while on the job. Carmelita has been in constant pursuit of the criminal organization for many years, and despite her skills as an investigator, she has always lagged one step behind. So, I should mention our current situation was only possible because she thought I had amnesia. I didn't. Her long-running chase for Sly would sooner or later turn into a collaboration, something less attributed to her moral code more than it is to her feelings for Sly. I wanted to believe he'd changed, that maybe I'd changed him. But Sly was who he was, and I had to accept that. Number 6, Chase McCain, Lego City Undercover. Chase. Chase McCain. Chase McCain? You're a legend! There happens to be only one man for the job when things in Lego City begin to fall apart. When the sanctity of the city is threatened by the crime lord Rex Fury, McCain has got to go undercover to pop the lid on the whole operation. Get out of the crane, Jimmy! Uh, sure, just give me a second! He's up to the task, though. Being a master of disguise, proficient in hand-to-hand -hand combat, and skilled in the operation of a whole host of different vehicles and aircraft. That doesn't mean he isn't without his shortcomings, though. He did lose his girlfriend by spilling the beans on her undercover identity. I've seen what they're planning! Don't help them! Off you go, my dear. Number 5, Leon Kennedy, Resident Evil series. I'm Claire Redfield. Hey, Leon Kennedy. While commonly recognized as a U.S. secret agent, Leon's humble beginnings were served as a Raccoon City police officer. Your first day is always your hardest, though. Sorry, but it looks like your party 
has been cancelled. This would of course be a short-lived stint as a police officer, as Leon's actions in the zombie-infested city would soon grant him a lot of attention from the US government. Enough to make him their number one man when the president's daughter goes missing. You really have only one choice. Work for us. Number 4. Shun Lee, Street Fighter Series. Being the self-proclaimed strongest woman in the world doesn't come without its designated career path. I've decided to keep being a cop for now. Sounds good. This martial arts master carries an Interpol badge behind her flurry of lightning kicks, and isn't afraid to lay some serious smackdown before she reads you your rights. Chun-Li has regularly entered the Street Fighter tournament in attempts to take down the infamous M. Bison, the man that killed her father. Man, Interpol has a really relaxed dress code, eh? Judy, hold it right there! Wow. Back for another beating, officer? Number 3. Wei Shen. Sleeping Dogs. You want to give up the best undercover HKPD has ever had? Your best shot taking down the sun on Yi? When it comes to taking down the most infamous gang in Hong Kong, you need to enlist the best of the best. Being one of the most skilled officers in his precinct, Wei Shen was handpicked to go undercover and infiltrate the triad. You're getting this business for yourself. You're bound to end up like little Lan Tan. His superior martial arts skills and keen familiarity with the city's underbelly made him a perfect candidate for the task, if he could keep his feelings in check. You want the Red Poles? I'm one of them! That's what worries me, Wei. You're one of them. Number 2. Officer Tenpenny. Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas. Welcome home, Carl. Glad to be back. You haven't forgotten about us, have you, boy? Hell no, Officer Tampenny. Some cops obey the system, and then some cops make up their own system. See you around like a donut, Carl. Tenpenny uses the criminal activity that runs rampant through Los Santos to his own benefit, perpetuating the gang culture with corruption, extortion, and violence. Oh, how you like that, you piece of shit? The corrupt officer has taken a special interest in the Grove Street gang member CJ, an association he may come to regret. He is the very definition of a crooked cop. You're mine! Mine! I run this town! <laughs> Before we unveil our pick for our top video game cop, here are a few honorable mentions. Thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are... I'm Alan Wake, but listen, I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Number one, Max Payne, Max Payne series. Lapino thought he could get us by taking Alex out and leaving me to take the fall for it. All he had gotten was my attention. Having your whole family murdered and then being framed for the death of your partner would destroy the common man. And you could say that it destroyed Max Payne. No! Always fear the man who has nothing to lose, especially one with shooting skills like this. If Max is going down, he's taking everyone he can with him, and trust us when we say that he can take quite a few. Max might not have been the best police officer, but he's a clear number one in the video game world. I released my finger from the trigger, and then it was over. Do you agree with our list? Uh huh. Which video game law enforcer did we miss? For more awesome top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Some things are more important than work. Oh. Yeah, you're talking about video games, right? <laughs>